Good morning, guys. How you doing? It's your girl Danny here. Um, today's video is going to be a little different than what you're used to. Uh, and you know, y'all know I like to reach out to different kinds of viewers, and you know, I like to put out different kinds of content. So today, or yesterday rather, <coughs> the company Niantic, Niantic, that created the Pokemon Go game. Uh, phone game, you know, the mobile game, uh, has been working on a new game. It's a Harry Potter game called uh, Wizards Unite. And um, I played around with it just for a little bit yesterday. Um, not too much. I didn't get too into it because I was on my way home and it was announced that it was up and running. So, uh, and it's the first time it's been up and running, so I'm sure there's probably going to be some bugs and kinks that they've got to work out with any new game. So, uh, the reason why I wanted to do this little video on it is because it is brand new. And there may be some people out there that, uh, want to see how it's played before they go ahead and start playing it. So, uh... And, you know, and if this goes good on my channel, I may continue to do it. And if it bombs, then, you know, it'll just be something I check in with every once in a while, like I do with my Pokemon game. Or, you know, the Pokemon Go. So, alright, uh, so let's get into it. Click on it. That's the little icon for it. That little black circle with the three things. One goes here, one here, one here. And yes, I'm still smoking. I know, I need to quit. I'm awful, I know. But once this gets up and started, I will be either minimizing the screen or I will be taking it off. Um, I tried recording some yesterday and the screen recorder that I was using had like zero picture. Like, y'all couldn't see me at all whatsoever. So, alright, so I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna minimize my face. All right, there I am. Do not play Harry Potter Wizards Unite while driving. Sir, I'm not driving. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Hello, I'm Constance Pickering. I work with Hermione Granger on the Statute of Secrecy Task Force. We've been charged with containing this disastrous calamity. This calamity is, well... Quite calamitous. Everything that anyone has ever feared, revered, or held dear in the wizarding world. People, things, even memories, have been stolen and displaced, tossed about across the world. We've got to return what is lost, and quickly. The Statute of Secrecy is in danger. Hello. Thanks for volunteering your help to the Ministry. I'm Harry Potter. Let's get started. The Ministry have provided you a brilliant map designed to help find the missing objects. Magical me there indicates your position in the world. Magic always leaves traces. It indicates the location of a foundable left by magic, causing this calamity and risking the statute of secrecy. Foundables are what we're calling the things that are missing. Okay, so... Magic always leaves traces. It indicates the location of a foundable left by magic, causing the calamity and risking the statute of secrecy. Foundables are what we're calling things that are missing. Tap on the trace in order to return this found. Okay, so I'm assuming this thing in the middle that's shooting up as the, that's what they're calling the trace. So I'm clicking on it. Camera permission requested. Enable augmented reality engage with magical traces. Allow access. Sure. Okay, yeah, allow. So I clicked on it. Okay. This is interesting. All I can see is a little faded thing. It says Statute of Secrecy. Hey! Oh dear. Hagrid is trapped. Barriers like this web have been manifested by a rather chaotic magic. We call these confoundables. If we can manage to remove that web, the chaotic magic will immediately return Hagrid back to his rightful place. Oh. Threat 
me yeah, that to measure the how likely okay. and foundable is to expose the wizarding world, thereby breaking the statute of secrecy. The greater the threat, the harder it will be to remove the confoundable. Please. Defendo! Awesome! We freed Hagrid! You overpowered the confoundable. Rubius Hagrid has been returned. At least I think that's what it said. Yay! Place image. Well done. Now that you've returned Hagrid to where he belongs, you should make oh. note of it in the registry. Okay. The registry is a listing of all the missing foundables known to the Ministry. Everything that has been reported missing can be found here. Explorations are what we call the collection of foundables hidden within the traces, along with a few special items you can recover from the fortresses. As you return foundables to their appropriate time and place, you'll mark progress by adding their image to your registry. Why don't you place Hagrid's image now? So yeah, you just tap on it. Okay. So I tapped on it. Awesome. Okay. Now what? So we've got an outline of a Pegasus. Looks like a, a building. A subtype, what I got to build it. Is that the, uh, is that Hogwarts, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, and I know this, this is the, uh, it's the thing that looks like a, a horse and a bird and I can't remember the name of it. And then this dragon looking thing down here at the bottom. So what does our challenges look like? Let's check out the challenges. Oh, it's a bunch of books. Okay. Okay. And then we have mysteries. All right, looks like scrolls and books. And we have events. I guess this is like a... Oh, okay. So it's a unicorn. Oh, a spider. I can't stand spiders. <laughs> then we've got, looks like a tree with vine or a trunk with vines coming out of it. Another stump or something. That bird. Again, I cannot remember what the name of that bird is. For Shkrapola. And then this lizard. Okay, so back to the explorations. All right, we're going to exit out. Let's see what else we can find. Oh. You can return to the registry at any time to see which foundables you've returned and which ones are still missing. Oh, wait, here's another one. Let's walk over here and find this one. Okay. Oh, I guess we got to get close to it. Kinda. Oh, look close. See, like I said, with any new game, you're gonna have some sort of. What is this? Oh, scurvy grass seed. How about that? All right. All right. Here's something else. I just clicked on it. It's a purple thing. Well, it looks like you're in for a bit of a fight. You'll have to defeat this foe in combat. Don't know how to do it. Okay, where's that? My AR is on. So this is. Oh! So I gotta align that. Tap. Okay, so I did that. Point your wand at the target icon, and then once the meter is filled, cast the spell by tracing the glyph. Precise casting does bonus damage. Spells that hit your foe reduce the stamina. When a foe's stamina near zero, they will be vulnerable and you can take them out. Okay. Okay, so apparently I was good. Tigo. 
Protego. So I'm protecting myself with Protego. I hit him. Okay, now that I figured out how to do this. This is a little complicated. Okay. I guess I got him again. Alright. Protecting myself. This is interesting. We got him again. Success! We beat him. Awesome. This is actually really interesting. It's called an oddity. I like the deer. The deer's cute. Brown centaur. Okay. Interesting. So I uh, reached level two. That's awesome. Oh, and I got all this cool little stuff. How about that? All right. Let's see what this is. Oh, and it looked like I had a uh, uh, snitch. Stitch. Snitch? Is it snitch or stitch? Low threat level. Fair. And no. Free it! Find the full departed. So it ran away, I guess. Alright, what is the snitch? Stitch. The stitch? Oh, this is a ogre. Fair. Bublo. Bublio. Resisted you. Fair. Gonna resist me again. Cause I'm not that great. Good. I guess the faster you go, the better. Spell in. Got him that time. Put him in a bubble and made him go fly away. He flew away. So he flew away. You overpowered the confoundable. Magical megaphone has been returned. That's pretty cool. Alright. So let's place the image. Where does this one go? Oh, okay. So it goes in the World Cup grounds. Awesome. Okay. So up here is different little things. Okay. Yeah, up here, like, it, like, this little thing up here I'm moving, it's, like, different. Like, right here is nine and three quarters. I'm assuming that's the Hogwarts, um, school. Well, actually, I would think nine, nine and three quarters would be the train station. Right here is the legend of Hogwarts. Uh, the Ministry of Magic. Uh, Magizoology. Magical games and sports. Mysterious artifacts. Wonders of the Wizarding World. Oddities. Yeah, so. Oh, and there's the uh, centaur that I beat. So, yeah. It's different types of things that we got to find. Okay, let's go see what's in this house over here. There's actually two houses. And if you're familiar, well, you're not familiar with where I live at. But if you're familiar with the um, Pokemon Go game, I'm assuming where our Pokemon stops are in the Pokemon Go game is where these little houses are going to pop up. So, let's go check out what's in these houses. 
This is interesting, guys. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Alright, so let's click on this house. What is it? What do we do? What do we do? In an effort to combat the calamity, innkeepers from across the world have agreed to supply witches and wizards with free food. Their generosity will help keep you energized on your travels. Make certain you thank them. Okay. Trace the glyph to receive free food. And I get two electrical thingy, two lightning bolts. And I got to return in five minutes to receive more food. And as you can see, there's a smoke coming out of the house. I guess they're cooking. They're cooking up our free food again. All right, so we're going to walk across the street here and we're going to go <coughs> to the Alexander Railroad Company and see what they've got to offer in their free food check. See, the house like popped up and got bigger. So that means we are closer to it. See, as you can see through the window there, that's the uh, picture of the Alexander Railroad Company. All right, so let's trace the glyph. Oh, and we get some jelly beans. How about that? That's awesome. All right. As you can see, you look through the window, and that is the picture of the Alexander Railroad Company. And if we go back here, that's the picture of the Sister Shack. Or, not Shack, but it's Sister's Old Mill Gift Shop. That's the name of it. Okay. Alright. Oh, and we got another little... What is this over here? The I Love Travel Video Contest Returns. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so, hold on. I'm trying to stay in line. I'm trying to figure out what this little house is. There is a spider on my phone. That is not part of the game. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, precious port key found. Oh, and I found water. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so, uh, what this... Now, over there, that is, in Pokemon Go, that's where a gym is. So, let's see what the Go gyms are, the Pokemon Go gyms are actually turned into in the Wizarding World. Actually, this might be a lot easier if I go, because that's like covered in water and I have sandals on today. So, we'll go to the next gym that's closest to we're not we're just playing around today um another day we'll get into the big you know i'm just checking things out right now so it's pretty cool like i'm enjoying this Let's see what other things um the fact that the screen moves a lot i'm not too sure if i like that because I am walking in a straight line. Well, not really straight, but you know, I'm walking forward. And I'm not moving enough for this phone to be moving like... It's pointing toward the two shacks again. And I'm not even facing the shacks. So, that's weird. But anyway... the way it's pointing. Oh, what is this? Oh, a, a newt spleen. Uh, one of my friends um, on the channel, she is, her German Shepherd is named Newton, and she calls him Newt for short. So we found another confoundable. Oh, two of them. Hello, threat. Good. Bublio is attacking a chicken on a rooster. Confoundable departed. What did I find? Or what did I get? I guess I got anything. Uh, here we got something else. Oh, it's another one of these.
it myself. Tego. Tego. too good at this lining this up like I'm supposed to. We got 10 points left to take this sucker down. Success! And we got him. Awesome! Alright, so we're going to keep walking. So we've got two out of the 15 that we've got to have now. Okay, so what we got, what's here? What is this? This is a nine and three quarters. So this is gonna be something from the nine and three quarters. Oh, and it's a high threat. Ooh. So confused. What is that? Okay, we'll use one of those. Whatever that means. Oh, that made it not as hard. You do not have any spell energy. Do I have a hundred coins? I need more. I don't. I have twenty. Oh well. What is this one? Oh, this one makes it a lot easier. Um, and I don't have any energy left. Oh my goodness. And I I believe I know what my problem was. I was starting at the wrong end. Oh well. How do I back out? Sorry, moaning Myrtle. Yes, I'm sure I want to leave. Alright, so... How do I get energy? That is my question. Please indicate which Hogwarts house you were sorted into. I don't know. I gotta do that. I'll do all this later. We'll do this later when I get home. Let's find out what this is. I have a bitter root. What I want to know is... Daily assignment resets in 15 minutes, I guess. Complete all tasks in this daily assignment. Return 10 foundables. Dinette ends two times. Pick up one ingredient or on the map. Brew one potion. Use one potion. Walk 0.25 kilometers and complete one wizarding challenge. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so... How do I know if I have any energy? I'm confused. I'm still out of energy. Okay, sorry moaning Myrtle. I have to leave you where you are. Let's... Maybe I can spin something in a flower. 
And I can find out what kind of energy I'm going to have. Maybe if I level up, my energy will come back. So let's... I bet I can't do that either if I don't have any energy. I'm not sure. Oh, and it's high too. See, no... No energy. This sucks. Yes, I've got to leave. I don't have any energy. Oh well. Alright, that's... I don't know if I like that about this game. That you have to have energy to do stuff. I guess that means that... Um... That lowers your playtime considerably. See, and there's another one. Maybe spinning these houses or going to these houses, maybe I'll get some more energy with that. Um, at least I can walk around and pick up little things like that. Um, so unfortunately, I can't fight any of the creatures or set free anyone, which really bums me out. So, um, I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Oh. Alright, so, this is my little hometown. Oh, well, let's see what this little blue thing is. them there. Oh, wow. Oh, there's one shaped like Slytherin. That's a keyhole? Interesting. There's a street sign up there. Another little house. A little blue house. This will be interesting. So, alright, we're gonna go around back side of this truck. I love the fact that they got the little owls. So we have a little blue house there. So where the little blue house is, that is where a Pokestop is on Pokemon Go. That should actually give us some food or some free food or something, I'm, I'm guessing. Or it might be something different. Um... I don't know if y'all are interested in my little town. Over there is the Taylorsville Times. As you can tell that's been there for quite a while. All of these buildings have been here quite a while. They just keep them up and they reuse them. So we're going to switch you back around here. Something just jumped up and hit me in the leg. Hey, what is this little guy? A Braxton hair. Wonder what it does. I'm not yeah, I'm just picking stuff up. I don't know what it's used for. So this game is really interesting. If y'all got like I said, if you guys wanna check it out, uh, go to your Play Store if you're on Google. If you're not on Google and you're on Apple, go to your iTunes store, your app store, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and um, it's called Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And it's made by the company Niantic. Alright, let's pick this up and click on this house. So what this house does for us. Oh, interesting. So what do we do here? When you visit a greenhouse, you'll be provided with ingredients for use in potion, brewing, or other useful items. Pick one. I got three ginger root and two snowdrops. Interesting. Come back in five minutes. All right. That is awesome. All right. Now we're going to walk across the way 
we're gonna walk over there and there is a Pokemon gym and as you can see it is where this green shack is and let's um, see what they give us there I have a red light so I'm going to walk well not quite yet because the other light just turned red so we are gonna wait so I so we are safe it's from vehicles let's try not to get hit so interesting I think this is very interesting how do y'all think how do y'all feel about this little game video oh I got the red light so I'm gonna walk about got hit by a car it's a good thing I noticed it was a red light they had to stop and let me cross okay oh there's a different one I just don't have any energy and it's what sucks all right so all right so the big this may be another thing uh, for another free food yes it is more free food there we go Ooh. Oh, I got a bunch of energy that time. Okay, now I know where I'm getting energy from. All right. So now I'm getting energy and I can start doing these things. Do y'all think I should go back and help Moaning Myrtle? Because she looked like she was uh, rather anxious to get out of that little thing that she was in. Let's see what's in this one. Maybe she followed us. No, oh, this is a dude. We'll help him out. He's a low threat. So we'll help him out. All right. Fair. I know what my problem was with Moaning Myrtle. I was doing it backwards. So we released him. So that's what my problem was with Moaning You're welcome, dude. All right, and there was a Hufflepuff student that we helped out, so that was awesome. All right, now we know how to get energy. We get energy from going to the free food shacks. That is awesome. We need to hurry up and get to level three, guys. I need some more energy increases. All right, that is awesome. Gave us quite a bit of that. Oh, now there's our Dada classroom. Hufflepuff student was released. Alright, let's see what this This is like a little creature, ain't it? Or some sort? Every time I click on something and he's a low threat also, which is great. I can handle low threats. Leave that puppy alone! Oh, leave that poor baby alone. He did nothing of the sort to you. It's not even a puppy. I don't know what that thing is, but it's cute. You're welcome. It's a baby Niffler. You're welcome. It's cute, whatever it was. Oh. I love the deer. Are we going to get... Oh, I'm not quite three. Level three. Yet. Oh, yes. We just hit level three. Yay. Alright guys, I don't want to make this too, too terribly long of a video, um, so we're going to place this image really fast, and maybe we're supposed to place all the images. Yeah, I think, yes, I am supposed to click on all of them. I'm, I'm a little... Nine and three quarters length? Ooh, how about that? Maybe that's where I was going around. I didn't even place the centaur. So we need to place the centaur. Okay, we did place Hagger. Nothing there. We placed that one. Yes, I remember placing that one. Yes. Alright. I guess I placed that hen as well. Okay. All right, guys. So now you know I'm in the township of Taylorsville. Hmm. All right, so we are level three. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope y'all enjoyed this little adventure that we had today. Um, 
make this bigger so you can see what who you're talking to. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure today, guys. Uh, I, I had a blast. I thought it was really fun. Um, I will take some more time tomorrow. Um, actually, you may see me again later on today. I may uh, go to the walking park today and uh, try this game out in another town and see how it works out. Alright guys, I love you so, so much and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one. I'll see you guys later. Bye!